Morning, guys. Once you know you get unleashed onto the trails, um, it's 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 spectacular and, and it's a it's a brutal course, um, especially the new additions that uh, the mad scientist Jacques Mouton um, added. It definitely will have top runners covering. It's a it's a serious route. There's some iconic peaks here and there's trails everywhere. You can go to any of these peaks and there's different ways to get to the peaks, you know. So, yeah, we, we're very privileged in George to have these uh, trails and, uh, yeah, that's what we want to try and showcase. I moved to the garden route. I wasn't a runner when I arrived there. It's a no-brainer. I tell you, George, you can't but run if you live in George, I believe. I'd never been a trail runner. I'd never been up mountains. Those mountains are so majestic. George Peak and Craddock Peak, love, love George. The scenery, my heart's definitely in George. That's where I started running and that's that's where I feel like I belong. I'll definitely keep going back for races and events wherever I can. It's extremely technical. Uh, George itself was some, some of the most technical running I've actually done. Um, just a vastly different in the amount of vertical gain we cover. If I remember correctly, the mat has three and a half thousand meters of vert. And if you want to put that into perspective, that's like Table Mountain three and a half times. I think it's, it's just this ecstasy of running, getting these vistas of views and being in the mountains um, and just being on your own, enjoying what you see and, and that carries you through and there's always, always pain involved in ultra running and I think that obviously we didn't, we didn't want to go out and dish out pain on this route but this route has quite a bit of pain involved but you know, it's got a lot of vistas and a lot of joy and a lot of ecstasy and a lot of stoke. I, I'm running out of words but it's, it's a proper beautiful mountain ultra trail.
when we initially thought about the mutt, um, it wasn't even the name mutt wasn't then even registered or in our heads or anything. Uh, we, I just thought we'll do a trail run for the sake of tr having a trail run in George. But then Jock and I ran ran what we what we envisioned to be the 60k, and I just got this this absolutely stoked feeling about running. And realized that this could be something quite epic um, and this year we obviously with Discovery's input we've, we've elevated the scale of this event quite dr drastically and that I, I'm hoping that we're establishing that as being a premier trail run of South Africa and hopefully soon we'll get onto the international circuit as well. It's actually some of the most breathtaking running I've ever done um, being up there on the peaks and stuff, you know, it's almost like transcendental, you know, I mean, the city sleeping below, it almost puts like a state of calmness over you. Um, but the mud specifically, as I said, it's like some of the most technical running I've done, scrambling, some gnarly descents, some proper tough climbs, um, and very, very technical. The terrain's ever-changing. Um, I don't think I was ever in a full-on rhythm at all during the race, and I think I still said to the organizer after the race that whoever designed the course was pretty sadistic. It was definitely, definitely one of the toughest I've done. And I definitely recommend it to anyone who's looking to get full value out of their, their mountain running. South Africa and the Western Cape in general has got, got incredible trails, but um, to me it it definitely represents like Euro, like a European big mountain, like Alpine style, especially if you if you come up from the back of Harold and you come up and Craddock Peak is is you know towering above you to the right. It's just um, I mean, there's, there's, there's something for everyone. Uh, there's, there's technical downhill running, there's um, long flowy jeep tracks, um, just spellbinding climbs. Um, yeah, I mean, just, just an incredible place to move through, you know. If you chat to a mother that's given birth, they 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 like. If you asked them right then and there, would you have another one? They'd definitely say no. But like a year or a few months later, yeah, I'm, I'm open to have another one. So like now, you know, reflecting back, I remember how tough it was. But that's what makes it so rewarding is that you push through. You know, they they like some relentless climbs. But that's what just makes it awesome, is it's these untouched areas where the only way you're going to experience those mountains is on foot. And you need to work to appreciate them. The sections coming through Tornelbos um, makes it quite challenging because there's a bit of a camber. So yeah, you need to climb over quite a bit of vegetation. But other than that, it was awesome. The Mat 60K is really tough. We we meant it to be tough. Um, it's not an easy race, but can definitely be done by uh, any trail runner that that uh, has got mountain experience. The cutoffs is not strict, 
So if you can keep going, you, you'll finish. It's really tough, but it's really rewarding at the end of the day. I would, I would highly recommend it to, to anyone that's trying to make a sort of shift in their, in their life. Um, you know, it's just, it's such an honest sport and um, just mentally and uh, the relationships and the bridges you build with people along the way and just the community. Uh, everyone's super stoked, you know, on, on your achievements. It's like a, it's like a big family trial running Z. That's where it's at, definitely. We, you know, the, the hashtag we started is Mutt Life um, and this is a celebration of our mountain and just it's just awesome sitting here having this view having a beer and all smiles people that ran 60 people that ran 25 people that ran 9k it's just a celebration of our mountain That was the hardest thing I've, the hardest run I've done ever, period. <laughs> <laughs>